New Zealand has um, about four and a half million people for the whole country and about a million of them live just in the city here in Auckland. So it's nice, this town has a free bathroom, free freedom camping designated area, and then a park too where they don't say you can't, so you can not there too. So we're gonna get cleaned up, and go get a coffee across the street from where we slept. It's five dollars. This is the large, oh, this this does seem like a large to me. That. Look at my twin. Oh, it's 16 ounce. Look at my twin. Oh, your twin's there, yeah. I feel like a small coffee in the States is 12 ounces, but a small here is eight, and then medium like 12 and then the large is 16 but like if you go into like a gas station in the united states and get a like large extra large coffee sometimes it's like 24 even i've seen 32, 32 ounces of coffee and normally like we would get that and we would then like split it so like i would drink half peter would drink half we each have like 16 ounces then but now we're still just getting one and splitting it, so it's, it's less. It's still um, plenty. But it's still plenty. And you realize, okay, that's all you really actually need. But like, when you're in the States still, it's like, well, it's just like 50 cents more for the extra large, so I might as well get double the amount, and so then you do. Our size options are a little bit too large in the States, which can play into obesity and things like that. And that'll be interesting when we go back to the States. I think we might have a little bit of culture shock. <laughs> like, wait, this is a large? Woohoo! You spent how many years? This is not gonna be culture shock. You can stop this random Sorry. rambling right random now. rambling. Okay, on to Auckland. <laughs> the drive to Auckland and we're stopping here in Kawakawa Bay. Gonna get some breakfast here out of our car. It's nothing too exciting. How are those beans? These are good beans. We finally found a can of beans that we like. 80 cents for the can too. Great price. It's because it mostly has sugar. It has more sugar than tomato sauce. <laughs> Finally found street parking. Now we have two hours to see the city. We got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich to go. So on the bus it was advertising for New Zealand School of Tourism. It's like what other country do you know that like they have a school just for tourism? And so it makes sense here because it's such a big part of New Zealand. We don't have time for a full rematch like we did in Estonia, but we're gonna play a game of still seven points. Let's see who wins. All right, so never mind. We try to play a game, but uh, the ball was not like a regular ball, so it did not bounce correctly. And then there's a bit of wind. So, all right, we'll have to have a rematch in a different country. <laughs> goes look at the band-aid house and I was like band-aid and then I saw what he meant so that's really creative because they want the restoration project so to have a band-aid like that definitely catches your attention this is so cool I have a game of chess here I like these really comfy bean bags we're gonna take a seat ah, well, that's comfortable This 
this um, owl thing is like what we had seen when we were in Birmingham, England. Uh, so it's like an educational thing. So there's several of these, I guess, throughout the city. This is the first one that we're seeing. And each one tells a story. You have an app code. You can check in to see which ones you've yet to discover. Pretty creative with their door handles here. That's awesome. these like fun signs all around the city tell you a little bit about what you're seeing I know it does not look all that exciting behind me but behind me here is Captain Cook's Wharf so another example of Captain Cook on our adventures oh my goodness another fun pop thing Oh my goodness, that's cool. So you could like build like a whole system because you can move these. That's really cool. So this behind me is such an interesting archway. Um, so there's actually like rocks and at the top there's like a wire thing, but you can hardly see it because it's covered by the tree. minutes because we want to see one of their site. Time for the lover's walk. Now oh, we're like walking straight up the hill and I'm out of breath and he's like remember you're from Colorado. Still doesn't mean that walking uphill is not hard. So if you got here early enough you can park here for free for three hours. growth coming out of the tree. All right, Peter, what museum is this? World War Memorial here. Okay, so for admission to this museum, Aucklanders, so anybody lives in Auckland, they can get it for free. If you're from anywhere else in New Zealand, a donation is invited, not required. And for international visitors, $25 per adult. New Zealand has um, about four and a half million people for the whole country and about a million of them live just in the city here in Auckland. So the North Island is definitely more populated than the South Island but for us we just found the South Island to have such stunning views. If you for whatever reason could only go to one island, I would go to the South Island. That was awesome so we just ran into um, Katrin who is from Austria and uh, she heard me say what I said about the um, pick the South Island over the North Island and she goes oh man I picked the wrong one. She's been here for two weeks and um, just has really visited the um, North Island and anyways we got chatting and it was really awesome to, to talk with her. She said the same thing about the the caves, the glow wearing caves. She's like yeah if you have seen a cave before you don't need to go there. All right made it out just in time 221 we want our parking was up on to the last point. One Tree Hill. Sounds like a band. It's a beautiful view of the city up here. Sir John Campbell was really proud of the Maori and their heritage and so this was um, put here to remember that. Alright so we have about 30 minutes until we can check into our Airbnb and so we're making a stop at McDonald's. I'm gonna get a, a chocolate covered ice cream. It's on sale for two dollars and Peter might get a sundae. Looking good. Very nice. Five sundae. Nice. Too uh, cold in there to eat us, so we're eating out here. All right, that was really good. Now on to the Airbnb. I'm wait tonight. 
and then tomorrow we can get some work done. So we have a good two solid days of work. Oh my goodness. And that. Yeah, get over here, babe. Don't go over there. That's scary. Five. <laughs> You're ridiculous. I'm not gonna hit my hand that. Oh.